The new Boys and Girls Club of the Columbia Basin is going up fast in Moses Lake. The $3 million facility made possible through community donations will double the club's space. The existing club is now on 3rd Avenue downtown. But Boys and Girls Club Executive Director Brent Mayo says Moses Lake School District is allowing the club to use space next door at Port Orchard Elementary School on Paxson Drive. The current facility we're now is about a total of 5,000 square feet, including offices and some storage. This facility is 10,700 square feet, but we also like to add the roughly 9,000 square feet of the school from the gymnasium to the computer labs, cafeteria, things like that we'll have. So really we're kind of going from about 5,000 square feet to 20,000 square feet plus um, about 10, yeah, 10 to 12 acres of play field. This gives the club a great deal of new space and that means the club can increase the boys and girls membership. So right now uh, downtown we see anywhere from 120 to 150 a day. Um, we're expecting that probably pretty close to double. We'll push 250, 300 kids through here a day. The club's agreement with the school district allows Park Orchard school students to use the club's new space, which has a secure walkway connecting the school and the club. The club's exterior will match the school's architectural look. In return, during the school day, when our club is empty, except for the admin offices, uh, they'll have access to ours, so they can come and use the activity center, the art room, um, we have a community room that uh, they can do uh, teacher conferences in there, they can do whatever. So it's a really good partnership uh, between the two. Mayo detailed the club's new space, which has been framed by the same construction company that built the school. In this building, uh, what we're right now, we're standing in what we call the Learning Center. It's where we run our homework programs. Um, the room right here is our community center, which uh, will be for um, we'll do some programming for classes and there's some of our drug and alcohol, gang awareness, some of those, um, but it's also our boardroom, uh, the Mosaic Lioness group will meet in there, some other nonprofits in the community will be, uh, have access to that. Uh, the, the, right next to us is the art center, um, so we'll have a nice art room where the kids can be. And on, on the back side of something new for us is the teen center, we'll have a standalone teen center where middle school and high school kids will have their own entrance, their own staff, their own programming, they'll have their own area. Mayo said the need for new Boys and Girls Club space is big. We've uh, outgrown the facility we have down on 410 West 3rd right now. We haven't, uh, you know, I've been here for almost eight years now. We haven't recruited a member um, or anything. We've just kind of been status quo because we couldn't actually have any more members. Mayo said the club is about $200,000 short in funding for the project, which is expected to be completed in the fall for a grand opening. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.